I thought this was really interesting. And this this piece of news uh, was around Christmas, New Year. So in case you missed it, New York City uh, will make it mandatory for companies to disclose minimum and maximum salaries on job adverts. Um, it's illegal to ask candidates what they're currently earning which is interesting because in contrast in, in the UK, for example, uh, you can ask and it's a, a bit odd if the candidate doesn't disclose. That's the kind of vibe and feeling in the UK. US really different, been really interesting to, to recruit in the US in these states and not asking people. Um, pros and cons to it, I think, well, let's go into it. Um, the disclosing the salary, I think is also interesting. And I did a poll on LinkedIn and I asked mandating companies to disclose salaries on the job adverts. Brilliant idea. 83% of people. No way. 14%. And some people said, other, please comment. 2%. Uh, why had 568 votes? A decent, decent number of people voted. It's a nice cross section. I think it's in, I think it's super fascinating. And and there's two sides to this and and a bunch of things in the middle, clearly. But but pros to this, um, you know, people feel that it will, you know, be fairer. It will level the playing field. Does it really matter what you're earning now? Well, you could be earning 50,000, you could be earning 200,000, but this role pays 100,000, uh, or let's say 80,000 to 100,000 if you're doing minimum and max. Would you like to apply? That's it. And, and it's interesting because a lot of people, um, for a bunch of different reasons, are sometimes un are underpaid. You know, there's, there's the gender pay gap people talk about. Um, there's often people that have come into the country from a different place uh, with different experience. They often paid a bit less. You, you know, there's all of these kinds of conversations happening um, and people feel that it's fairer. You know, people should be paid the same for the same job. Great point. And whether this makes that happen, let's see. But I think it's, it's a certainly an interesting step forward and it'd be really interesting to see. On the other side of the coin, um, you know, people say, look, negotiation is part and parcel. Um, you know, people need to learn to negotiate better. People fear that some of the larger companies who can perhaps afford to pay more might end up getting better talent. Um, and yeah, people aren't sure uh, on, the, on, the, on this side of the conversation whether or not it will really have the impact that they're hoping for. And, you know, speaking cynically there's still going to be some you know negotiation and what happens if someone comes in and they're like okay look you, you said you pay 100 but actually i want 120 i want 150 or i think that's still room for negotiation i, th I think it's, it's really interesting but then we're moving a little bit towards this you know one size fits all and i think you have to be careful so we, let's see where it lands uh i think i'm I'm positive. I think it's going to be really interesting. I think uh, it will probably be fairer and it'll be interesting to see how that all develops.